We're still evaluating my situation, and over the next week or so, we're going to make a decision based on what they think. Mm -hmm. Do you expect uh, it to be a relatively short amount of time or a longer time? I mean, is there a time frame at all before uh, you'll be able to do everything? Um, I mean, they haven't really told me into much detail, but if anything, I know that I'm expecting I'll be back to training camp. Training. So. <clears throat> if anything, yeah, the very yeah. worst. Yeah, very worst with the camp. training camp. Okay. DK described your game. Um, TJ said he calls you a specimen, <laughs> the dunking machine specimen. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I guess that fits along the curve. But um, just the guys gonna give it all, energy, passion, uh, a little emotion too. <laughs> um, rim protection, rebounding, just do the the dirty work. So that's that's my game right now. So be some people said that if you had uh, gone back to school another year, you'd be a first-round draft pick next year, maybe lottery, that type of thing. Was it a difficult decision to enter the draft this year? Um, it was a conclusive decision between my coaching staff, um, my family. So they all have my support, really. So I felt like I had the opportunity now, so I might as well just take it and get to the next level and start uh, developing under the best coaches, the best program in the world. What's your take on uh, TJ's game? Describe describe TJ maybe as a player and as a person. <laughs> TJ, he's a real funny guy. Uh, we get along a lot. I've known him for a while now, so it's, it's really cool to have a brother going through this process with you. But his game, he can score on all three levels, um, just very skilled. And I think that's going to carry over right away on this level. We saw the video of you two celebrating after the draft. <laughs> How cool was that, not only to go through this process with the guy who's like your brother, but to go to the same team? Yeah, it's unbelievable. Uh, I guess God just buys both of us, and it's really great having someone with me. That being said, you're on the sideline watching him play. How difficult is that? Yeah, it's it's pretty difficult, but uh, this is this is what they kind of set pull out for me, so I'm just going to go ahead and trust in that. <clears throat> How much were you able to go through during your workout here? Were you, were you able to complete it in its yeah. entirety? Yeah, actually, I was. it was right at the end where I kind of like tweaked my knee a little bit. It was like shooting drills, no contact or anything, so like right at the end. So I got through basically almost all of it. And yeah, at the end, I kind of like messed it up a little bit and just walked off the court. <clears throat> so was this your final workout then? Yeah, this was my last workout. When you say tweak your knee like you sprained it or something? Was it? Uh... It was... It was just weird, like, I was just, we were doing a, like the, the shooting series and I just came, I came down off of a screen and I kind of like pivoted on my foot and I just like twisted a little bit, kind of like locked up. But I didn't think it was that serious at the time. And they were, just, they were like, yeah, we've seen enough, so. <laughs> <laughs> if healthy, what would you expect yourself as a rookie being, I guess you'd be 19 years old next year. What, uh, what, what's a reasonable expectation? I mean, I feel I'll just offer the same things I offered at UCLA. So just, like I said, a guy who does the dirty work, rim protection, rebounding, all that stuff, and just keep developing my skills so the later years come, I'm more of an evolved player.